Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, please give it up for uh, Mr. Ryan McGee. Good. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only Matthew Watson. Hey, it's me. Welcome, everyone. Guess what? It's a podcast with two white men. It, two white men uh, have their own podcast, a thing that's never been done before, uh, especially by us. No. So uh, it's a very exciting day. Uh, vi- oh, damn. Damn, chill, man. Going crazy 10 seconds in. Yeah, I opened up a monster because we are recording this at uh, the first episode, by the way, at, at, at midnight 14. That's what I'm going to say is midnight 14. Sounds cooler, right? Midnight 14 sounds cooler. Why don't people say like noon 30 or midnight 30? I don't know. It's like meet me at noon 30 tomorrow. Now, some of y'all might know us from our past podcast and you might be wondering, why, why are you starting a new one? Well, it's simple. It's because look at this set. Look at how beautiful it is. Look how much wow. effort was put into it. Oddly enough, uh, a, like literally a week ago, we it was still the Super Mega Cast. Yeah. Yeah, but we just kind of toyed around. We're like, you know, so much effort has been put into the set. Tucker's come here, like, like I don't know. Again, I, I, I love this piece. This piece was a, a like a newer addition within the past month. Yeah, well, we we had to basically delay recording the first episode until now, uh, because we already recorded the first episode. Well, yeah, we already recorded it once, and then uh, we used beautiful wireless microphones. Oh, but, uh, super mega fashion, huh? Where you going, huh? Oh yeah, these. We used these bad boys, um, and the frequency on them, uh, something was getting in the way. I'm guessing listen, it was some sort of like maybe a uh, a police van. Yeah, maybe like a surveillance van or a satellite. And listen, these are fantastic microphones. They were these listening sanitizers. to our podcast outside in the police van, going. They had to stop doing. They were probably like trying to break like a a, a drug den up or something. All of a sudden, they heard us recording. Like, they caught that? us in the frequency. And they just started listening and laughing because it started going out. Th- the The frequency break started going like throughout the podcast, like yeah. the clipping and stuff. It started increasing. So we must have been pretty entertaining for that police van to stay tuned for the whole podcast They've, that no one can listen to. They probably let the guy get away. Like the guy probably, like the drug lord probably escaped because the FBI was too busy just giggling and guffawing at our at our podcast. But now they can't listen because we're using wired microphones. Exactly. See, we got beautiful colored cords. Yeah, look at that. Uh, but basically, this whole set. This set piece, these uh, this acrylic wall was like a very last minute addition. Uh, I doodled it in my notebook, and we were like, "Let's let's let's do it. Let's get an <laughs> acrylic wall." <laughs> At first, well, okay, I'll get into something about the acrylic wall shortly, but we've already introduced ourselves for yeah. those with a short attention span or or doing something else. We want to reiterate: this is Matt Watson. Hi, and this is Ryan McGee. Hello. And this is our podcast show. That's right. The Super Mega Show. Super Mega Show. Yeah. It's uh it's it's a fun little show where two best friends, uh Ryan McGee and Matt Watson, uh sit and talk about everything under the sun, whether it's fun childhood stories about kissing my dad on the lips, new games we're playing, uh-huh. new, new movies we've seen, new boys we've kissed. Uh, Luke kissed me the other day, speaking of kissing boys. And? He's got very soft I just lips. felt like I should know you, so there's no kind of like, I don't want to start a competition in the workplace, is all. Okay, well, I'm, in that case... It was a I, cheek kiss. No. It wasn't anything, there was nothing sexual about it. Well, he, he kissed me the other day, too. I think it's only fair that I tell you, if you're telling me. Was it sensual, or was it like a peck like me on the cheek? Um, well, I mean, really, that's, that, that's in my interpretation... I How, think what did, what, it, what did your heart tell you? Was, he has, it, was it thumpity thumping? Well, yeah, it, ma- it made my heart go thumpity thumpity. But yeah. I mean, he has such soft lips, and also he is um, great hug. Those are firm hugs, firm hands, very firm hands. Was, we're, <laughs> we're getting distracted. Sorry, Luke, sorry, we get dist- we get distracted. We, we we talk about Luke a lot. Yeah, Luke's our podcast editor, uh, except he's not editing this one. Fake editor. Mm-hmm. Here's a picture of him, so you guys can just enjoy that. This is Luke, so you know who he is. Uh, I don't want to get distracted from the conversation yeah. we we're about to have. Uh, this this uh this. what ple- what would you call it not plexiglass it's, it's like, it, uh, they're acrylic blocks acrylic blocks originally um Matt ordered how how heavy like oh. legitimate glass blocks that uh it was 
from Home Depot. Yeah, so they're on screen right now. If if anyone wants to see the original, we still have uh, them in the office because they're so damn heavy. I, yeah, we're not getting those out of here. So basically, I went on Home Depot's website, uh, and when when I had this idea for this acrylic wall, I'm like, hey, you know, m- you remember those block walls from the like 90s, early 2000s? Let's do that. Uh, and Home Depot had pre-built ones, so I, I put a custom order in, and then Luke and I went to Home Depot to pick them up, uh, and I knew they were going to be heavy because they're glass blocks, right? But <laughs> Did I, you know they were going to be that? Did they list how heavy they were on the site? Yes, and I didn't read that. <laughs> how, uh, how heavy are they each? They were each, I think, 169, 169 pounds, and uh, you might be thinking... I can bench that. Yeah, 169 is not that heavy. Well, when it's uh, a yes, it is, and b when it's in like a like a five foot by four foot shape, it's incredibly heavy. So Luke and I get these two. We got two of them. Two of them. We we drive them in his in his cute little pickup truck back to our new office, and uh, it's the first one. That's the first. I had to two. christen the podcast. You had to christen it. It's like <laughs> Sorry. when they break the champagne. on I the I didn't ships. mean to interrupt you. I just had to christen the podcast with. Uh, hey, a but, toot, a fart. You, you a can fl- always interrupt flatulence. me with a toot, okay? okay. Always. I, I just think it's a classic kind of. It's a part of my character. It's a part of me. It's a part of my being. It's a. It's a part of my essence. Literally, it's me. It's your essence. P- and and people might be like, oh man, uh, this new podcast is. You know, maybe it's different. Maybe they've matured. No, <laughs> no, no. Um, but anyway, we get these these big heavy glass walls back to the office and we need to get them inside it's raining so luke and i decided I a part of this by you the way. you weren't here you were smoking crack somewhere i believe or do you, I, I don't want to give away up. the location but yes i was smoking crack somewhere is it where i think it was that's a pretty cool place and the crack is good and the people yeah the people on- the people on crack at least the people not on crack they're kind of a buzzkill bit of a buzz go kill. go on with your story basically uh luke and i had to get these things out of the back of his truck. It's raining, so the glass is slippery. Uh, and it took us about 30 minutes. We were fucking dying. We had to use just a push dolly. We get them inside. Uh, we hired a carpenter, basically, that builds sets to come take a look at them. And He's the same guy yeah, who built this. Did a great job. He comes in, and he looks at the glass, and he's like, you know they make uh, acrylic versions of these. And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, they, you know, you can just get the individual, you know, little acrylic plastic blocks and just click them together. And I like, was like Legos. I was like, no, no, you can't. And I went online and I looked. It was like half the price. <laughs> like uh, half the weight. And well, more, less than half the weight. Way less. <laughs> uh, each one of these blocks is like two pounds and it's just plastic or acrylic. So basically, uh, I ordered them. They came five times faster than the glass. Uh, we clicked them together, and the uh, the little carpenter man, uh, you know, did his did his carpenter magic like Jesus, and uh, boom. Sorry, I just kind of did the math. Uh, they're around maybe like sixty six ish pounds altogether. If each two of them are, there's we have more than this because. You know, for the for the guest couch over here, which the viewers can't see in this episode. No, we might build another one or something like that. I don't know. We're every we're still like getting in the work. Like we we did our first live stream recently. Mm-hmm. We put out uh, a music video, which we'll talk more about because I would like to talk about the process and just uh, the project in general. But we are still getting back into things, and since a lot of the stuff is new that we're doing um, in terms of branding and just content in general, uh, it's going to take some uh, massaging into. Yeah. But, but it should hopefully be smooth. I mean, you know, we are recording the first episode of the podcast at uh, 1230-ish. Oh, right. 12.22. Yes, okay. 12.22. Midnight 22. <laughs> Midnight 22. That's the sequel. Midnight 22. <laughs> but basically, we took six, seven months off. We went on a mission trip uh, to El Salvador. We touched a lot of hearts, uh, spread the word of Christ. And now we're back with a brand new podcast show. And you're probably going, wait, hold on. Aren't you guys the honkies from Super Mega Cast? Weren't there like 359 episodes of that? What do you what the what the f are you guys doing? Why is why am I looking at episode one? What is super mega show? Well, what, don't question us. There's there's fucking people out there that create like three to four different YouTube channels and upload the same content to them. So exactly. Like, I don't I don't want to hear it. I I don't want to hear it. We, Just, we, if we wanted to do a new show, if we wanted to 
liven it up and to feel like, ah, let's start fresh. Because it's always fun to kind of build a baby, so to speak. Yeah, it is. You know? <laughs> not... not uh, yeah. Like conception, you know. Yeah, but creatively, right. I don't. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want. Uh, I don't want to get uh, my cock wet. Right. We shouldn't talk about intercourse. No. Intercourse is something that you know the advertisers aren't going to like, and I. I personally don't like. I'm not a fan of well, intercourse. The advertisers specifically told us, "Hey, we don't have a lot of sex, so if you couldn't, you know, if you could please not mention it so much in the podcast because they have to test listen to it and everything." Uh, that would be great. Yeah. And so we're we're kind of put between a rock and a hard place because they're our advertisers. We don't want to piss them off by talking about sex too much and making them so jealous. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like they, it's honestly for me, I think it's more of a fear of intimacy mm-hmm. thing. They're kind of, uh, it's not that they hate sex, but they, they are scared of, of that intimacy. So yeah. when they hear us talking about intercourse, you know, it's just, it makes them upset. So uh, anyway, but basically... We started Super Mega Cast back in 2016, April 2016. Yes, we did. Okay, uh, it is now March 2024. Okay, so do the math. That's a couple months. Uh, I had just turned 20. You had just turned. You were about to turn 22. Yes. And we had, you know, we're, we were getting our toes wet. Is that a saying? Getting our toes wet. We're, yeah, we're because dipping our like, toes in. Like you're, like you're, uh, like. Uh, like you're at a pool. Yeah. You're testing the waters. We're getting our toes wet uh, in the podcasting scene because we had just started Super Mega and we were like, we should we should just talk every week. Lest y'all forget, we did create something called the talking show and stop that. So like we're no stranger to kind of trying to restart things. I think this will be a more successful attempt at doing something new. This is the talking show 2.0, baby. Yes, yeah, exactly. Well, uh, wait, wait, wait. We filmed the talking show in this very room, actually, right over there in that corner. We also filmed some episodes in the other room over room, there. Yeah. Uh, but basically, long story short, we have spent the last eight years of our 20s uh, making Super Mega Cast, uh, and through that time, we have, you know, documented our lives, our thoughts, uh, our opinions, both good and bad. Our hopes. Our dreams. Our dreams, our jokes, mm-hmm. our f- talking about our folks. Toots. I was trying to rhyme oh, a little sh- bit. Uh, That's why I said our, talking about our folks. That is kind of a, what? Let me let me just take it back. Yeah. And uh, our, our folks and um, our smokes. We smoke cigarettes. And our tokes. Hey. <laughs> And and some of and some of our uh, well known blokes, yes, and uh, and our spokes, and our sometimes bicycles. when we drink some cokes. <laughs> okay, we're five years old, just rhyming stuff for content. Yeah, have you heard? There's this new podcast <laughs> out, and uh, they, blokes, rhyme, they rhyme words. Spokes, it's awesome. Stuff, <laughs> smokes, jokes. <laughs> so st- really great. And then he farted. <laughs> uh, yeah, but. <laughs> Basically, the enthusiasm in that imagine someone like explaining something to their friend and like that's the that's just and you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> that's what it did. I mean, they rhymed they rhymed uh, joke, smoke, spoke, like over and over. It was awesome. It's incredible. Uh, it's like they both like went to college or something. Well, we and we, we did. We did. So we're we're educated, not as educated as Luke. But no, Luke is a little more educated. Luke actually graduated, but yeah. the way I see it is, Luke wasted money. We exactly. Didn't, you know, we, we were smart about it. We we took the necessary knowledge and went. Whoosh. You know, not all uh, things learned you learn in books. Some yeah. things you learn uh, in documentaries. In, in Michael Moore in, documentaries. In, in, yeah. <laughs> Well, what's your favorite Michael Moore documentary? Bowling for Columbine. Fantastic. I don't think I've ever seen that one all the way through. I watched it in high school. I remember uh, it was on Netflix or something, and I was in like 10th grade, and I watched it, and I thought it was the most profound shit I had ever seen. I was like, my parents were at like a bed and breakfast for the weekend, and I was like, my uncle likes Michael Moore, but I've heard he's controversial. So I watched Bowling for Columbine, and I was like, no way. I have my one of my uh, I think like one of my first girlfriends when I was in like mid high school or something, her dad hated Michael Moore. Oh yeah. Well, cuz he he was in the military. Yeah. So, and Michael Moore is pretty anti-military. It's pretty anti-military. You know, Michael Moore actually is going to be a guest on the second episode of the podcast, but what's he look at? What's his last like what's the last thing he did? Is he still making docu? Yeah, no, he made. Because remember, he made that documentary Fahrenheit 9/11. Yes. I think he made a new one 
about uh, it was like the sequel to Fahrenheit 9/11. Yeah, but it was about uh, Trump, Donald Trump. I don't know. Nice. Yeah. So he's still he's still going, man. That's what we need in this world: more documentary centered around Donald. We Trump. need we need we need a little more a little more screen time on Donald Trump. I think. Uh, so we're going to dedicate every episode of the podcast. We'll have a portion about Donald Trump. Well, elections coming up this well, year. Well, it buddy. is election year, so that another might another entertaining be true. election year. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. One for everyone online to uh, go. Ah, ah, oh, oh, oh. All, all all range of emotions. Maybe some of this. <laughs> maybe some. Ah. Of, hey. Yeah, and maybe even some of <laughs> yes. Uh, not, from not, none from me though. No, no, not, none from me. I'm, I'm just gonna. My, mine is. I'm gonna be. <sighs> I'm gonna focus on people I care about and not uh, old fuckers who just do just are rich and are known for doing nothing essentially. Exactly. I want to focus on my best buddy Ryan. I want to focus on Super Mega. I want to focus on Luke. Yeah, of course. Especially on Luke. And and you know that's it. I don't I don't want to I don't want to worry about politics. I don't want to worry about you know intercourse. I just I want to just think about Super Mega this year. I just want to work on Super Mega and Super Mega Cast. Going to complete my thought after I got derailed and distracted by thoughts is of this, Michael is Moore. Is this a thought from like fifteen minutes yeah, ago? Yeah. Yeah. Um, see, that's one thing that hasn't changed from Super Mega Cast is our inability to finish a point because we get sidetracked. Uh, Basically, Super Mega Cast uh, was that chunk of our story, and we were going to continue it. Like Ryan said, this was Super Mega Cast until a couple weeks ago. We were building the set and everything, and then we were just like, you know what? We've put so much work, blood, sweat, tears, a little bit of pre cum into rebranding and rebuilding this thing from the ground up, putting more work into it than we ever have, more love. And we were like, it, it feels weird jumping back in with such a big overhaul at episode 360. I, it deserves its own fresh start. And now that we're not spry 20-year-olds and the world is a different place and we're pushing 30, why not just, you know, new chapter? We, we've been working our ass off too. We've been, yeah. at the, we've been like staying at the office till like, 2 a.m. plus and like coming in okay we, we we like to sleep in a little we come in in between like 9 and 10 I know some people go to work a lot earlier than that but we're staying to like 2 in the hey, morning usually 3 in the morning I've been pulling 15 16 hour work days yeah so I, I've been I have been the past two weeks has been brutal for you as well because I have not gone home before 3 a.m. the last two weeks except for like three times for those who don't know Matt is a wonderful graphic designer he's he's designed uh, so much stuff for our website, like the merch stuff, the intro that you saw at the beginning of this podcast. You, that's all, Matt. Um, can we get a round of applause for Matt? Oh, dude. You're, well, you're making me edit in applause for myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm How, fine with it. How's it feel? <laughs> yeah, soak Pretty it good. in, baby. Yeah, I like and that. May, maybe one faint boo. It's good, you know, it, it, everyone's always going to have haters. Exactly. Yeah. But fuck you. I, I say F the haters. F the haters, man. And some skaters, because skaters are rude. No, not always. Uh, skaters are cool. Uh, not the ones that drop into a bowl when it's being used. Well, yeah, that, I mean, that's that's just et- skate etiquette. You shouldn't do that. Ah, oh, fuck, Ryan. I just realized something. In the wide Did shot... You make the, me upset? No, in the wide shot, look, the monitor, there's a monitor peeking out, covering up my side table. You see that? God damn it, dude! Wait, what? No, the, the that computer oh monitor. Oh my god! I it's okay. Hold no, on. No, we could just just. I'll help you, buddy. Let's move this thing. God damn it, dude! <laughs> why? Why? Did I move it the wrong way? Yeah, I moved, moved it the wrong way. Into, okay. you, moved, you you moved it uh, more into frame. Shit. <sighs> Here, I'll I'll uh, I'll entertain the audience. We're back, baby. <laughs> We're so back. We're so bad. The monitor's still in frame. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Here. Is it? Is still in frame. Still in the wide shot. <laughs> There's been a monitor. P- How the fuck did I make that mistake? Like, it's like the first time people see this brand new set. It's like, <laughs> like, guys, look how cool this set is. And it's just there's a monitor like dead, dead in the shot. Is that good? Yeah, that it. Wait, no. Isn't that it right it's there? 
I yes, that that no no no, that's perfect. And I actually need to zoom in on my shot a little bit. How about you zoom in on these nuts? Don't. Yeah. So now you can see my side table. God. So this is what it's supposed to look like. You like this? This is. Uh, <laughs> it was, I love that it was. <laughs> we were how we we we've been going for a bit. We've I been going for twenty three minutes. Yeah. So nice, but. You were you were praising me. You were uh, you were saying that you already got your applause. I already, you know, I think that's okay. Well, uh, yeah, I made. Do you want another round of applause? No, I don't want another round. I, but what were you saying? How hard you've been working and how awesome all the graphics. Is. Just give yourself another round Thank of applause. You. Why yeah. not? I'll just Why not? Just, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be loud. I, I mean, I made this logo. You don't have to even add the boo this time. I made maybe a, just a guy going. Ooh! Maybe add that noise into the... Maybe uh, a couple of them. <laughs> but yeah, um, well, I, you know, I don't want to take all the credit. Ryan did some graphic design. Uh, here it is. Uh, and, you know, a, a graphic design is something that everyone can do. So it, it's not... I'm not it's special. a learned skill. You're not born, you know, good at it. It's learned, yeah. Um, but you're great at it. You, you've, you've learned. Thank you, man. Um, and I'm always, I'm always here to give you some pointers. Uh, but yes... To bring it all back to to square one, this is Super Mega Show, and we are beyond excited to, uh, you know, turn over a new leaf, be back, be refocused, be fresher than ever, sexier oh, yeah. than ever. I mean, I've put on 30 pounds, Ryan. I, I, I'm, no, I'm no frail little bitch anymore. You, you, instead of taking two bites of a sandwich and then leaving it, you will instead eat six sandwiches in a day. Some, and, and then not just six not days. Not just in a day. You'll, sorry, hold on. Okay, I should, probably should have moved the mic away from my mouth. No, I don't right. know why leaning over didn't it, leaning over didn't hide it. No, we've got we, we've got several toots. We've got a belch. You know, it's like we're, yeah, fill in the quota. Anyways, well, you, you 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 it's you don't just stop at the sandwiches. You you, you drink. Well, I, I guess drinking it. You've always drinking your sodas and stuff. But you eat like cinnamon so rolls. Good. You snack a lot. You're, you eat more than I do these days. I do. Uh, and the reasoning behind that... Be careful, you might catch up to me. Well, I, in the last month, I've gained 35 pounds. I measured myself last night and I was 167. And a little over a month ago, I was 133. What, do you want another round of applause? A third round of applause? You know, I've, I've never been one to, uh, to eat. I've never been a, you know... A big chungus, I guess you could say. <laughs> soon you will be. Soon I will be. So, so, soon you'll be a big chungus sitting on that skibbity toilet. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, Are, dude. Do you, you think we're with it? it? We're, we're see, still like, with it? We, we've, we've missed some memes, but like, <laughs> have we really? I mean, like, look at that. We're back, baby. Like, skibbity toilet. God, you, you do know, though, that like, if... Skibbity Toilet had been a thing in 2016, like, we would be referencing it in every Super Mega video. But it's No These Nuts. It's No These Nuts. Or it, Yo Mama. No, because These Nuts, 21, Damn Daniel, Yo Mama, the shelf life on those, it, it never spoils. Uh, Skibbity Toilet, it's, you know, next month it's going to be gone. You yeah. know, it's like Baby Gronk. Okay? It, it's like you're Olivia Rodrigo to Taylor Swift. Exactly. Taylor Swift's here to stay. Olivia Rodrigo is a is a is a... It's a fart in the wind. Exactly. You're Michael Moore to Ken Burns, you know? <laughs> but basically, uh, you know, I've never had an appetite. I've always been severely underweight. Uh, yeah, you guys in the comments have, you know, made sure to, to let me know. But I, I hit up my doctor and I was like, hey, doc. You hit on your doctor? No, I didn't hit on my doctor. You hit up Well, he hit it. on me. But uh, I hit up my doctor. And well, I the said, one that played with your belly button sure did. And that's a classic Super Mega Cast story where I... Uh, was that on the Super Mega Cast? That was Super Mega Cast, that yeah. I it's, thought we were recording a a let's play. We, well, we recorded it in that room. It was when we did Super Mega Cast that in that room. room. Okay, okay, okay. For a real quick recap, a doctor fingered my belly button really deep and it hurt. You thought it was normal. And I brought it up on the podcast and you were like, what? And I was like, <laughs> that's what, don't doctors do that during a physical? And you were like, no. And you asked everyone around the office and then everyone in the comments was like, you. no, that doesn't happen. What do, why did he do that? And I still don't know. Maybe he was checking for a hernia? Maybe. Anyway. I mean, did, were you... Were, were you my doctor just prescribed me this medication called uh, Magestrol Acetate, and it's like a it's a 
the description is it's a milky white suspension and it's uh it's like a thick syrup suspension yeah that's what it says on the thing it's like a What's milky a white <laughs> What's a, is it like a like can milk be a a white suspension is a suspension no, just, just a liquid a suspension is 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 more of a thick uh a thick wid you know it's so not milk thicker than milk oh, what about like a protein shake is that milk? a suspension i'm about to look it up no, not on my phone, Ryan. <gasps> Why don't we utilize a beautiful piece of this new set? <laughs> yeah, this is a new feature. For a new show, new features. Guys, it is uh, 2024. We are moving ahead technologically. Check it out. You see this right here? I mean, Look this is this. only something most podcasts have had for the past decade. Hey, you know, <laughs> progress can, can come at any time and shouldn't be shunned for, for being late. I progress agree. is progress. You're, you're very... Um, Inquisitive, smart, thoughtful, poignant, poignant, Thank poignant, you. poignant, poignant, <laughs> poignant. Yeah. You're pretty poignant. Here we go. In chemistry, a suspension is a heterogeneous genius. A heter a heterogeneous. How do you say that? Heterogeneous. Heterogeneous. G like the I don't know. Heterogeneous mixture of a fluid that contains solid particles sufficiently large for sedimentation. You know what? I'll just, I'll show you uh, what we're working with here. I want to see this milky white suspension. This is uh this is it. This is the medication I'm. But taking. I only see the bottle in that photo. Oh, honestly, maybe like a video of someone just like pouring. Yeah, it. let's go. Let's. Oh look, first first result, weight gain. You see that? Let's hop on YouTube and see some. Like I want to see someone messing around with it, <sighs> sloshing. I like I want to see this substance. Oh, just overall. Yeah, but basically it just stimulates my appetite and makes me. You've seen how hungry I am. I will literally like we got Chick Fil A. I I had six Chick Fil A sandwiches back to back. You yes, uh, and uh, again, not only that, you also order cinnamon rolls almost every day now and eat about two to three of them okay well why that is a that's a those those are sperm cells uh wait, wait what your, your doctor what is this your doctor just hold on if you look up what is magesterol it's wait. just a bunch of semen why why is there it's a milky white suspension <laughs> just been drinking semen hold on what is this wait okay maybe this is just Huh. Um, like in the beginning, Magestral was created by a man. Like, like this a is, man made it. Yeah, this is introducing the scientist, and this is showing us how the scientist was born who came up and uh, created Magestral. Um, Unless you're just drinking cum. Well, it is a milky white suspension, and it's very, it's, it is very cum reminiscent, I will say. Okay, well, why don't you just look up, is Magestral semen? May harm the fetus. Is it in the is it in feet. the same family as semen? Side effects. What is this? Increased appetite. Okay, dude, the hot flushes and the sweats. Holy shit! You get those bad. You you've been complaining about sweating so much. You've seen well, how damp I. It doesn't help lately. that our AC is broken as well. Our AC is broken currently, and it is like eighty degrees in here. Yeah. And I'm a little bit sweaty, but uh, I I have been fucking you know damp lately, uh, and I wake up every night several times just completely drenched. Uh, but yeah, magestrol apparently has something to do with semen. Uh, produces effects in anorexia and cachexia, blah, 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 blah. So basically, bottom line, it makes me hungry and I guess has something to do with sperm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it, the whole video just has pictures of sperm throughout. Dude, every slide has different <laughs> pictures of sperm. It's just showing... <laughs> or, well, it's the same picture of sperm, just cropped differently. <laughs> They really got their use out of this stock photo. Uh, common dose. Oh, well, I don't take 800 milligrams a day. I take 40. Ooh. Uh, damn, what would 800 milligrams do? I take, I take 40, 40 milligrams, which is just like a, a, a big sip. So 800 milligrams is AIDS-related. Dude, what, what am I taking? What kind of medication am I? Also, my doctor didn't talk to me about this. He was like, take this. No, I, I texted my doctor's... Uh, like assistant and I was like hey you know I, I, I need to gain some weight and I just don't have an appetite and then I just got a notification that I had a new prescription that is the extent so I really don't know anything I've just been taking it but I put on 35 pounds in one month congratulations see brother it, right like you can see Man, let's face. look at the before like this this picture is from like a month a month and a half ago this is this, this picture, is before this is January 28th and then uh this is uh, this week. Yeah. Yeah. So. Look at the difference in just the face. You can even tell in the music video, which I still want to talk more about. But, oh, 
You see that pooch? Yeah. But before we talk more about that, mm-hmm. you know, there's a, there's a certain sponsor that wanted to say something. Are you serious? Yeah, well, technically, we actually don't have sponsors right now. What, 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 and we're sponsoring our... But there's a cool product that you should know about, that you will learn about more in this ad break. Are you freaking serious? We're going to commercial break? Mm-hmm. It's a cool product. It's 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 awesome. I don't remember. Have, we don't have sponsors this week, do we? We're sponsoring ourselves. The Patreon. We paid ourselves. Yeah, the, we're, this ad is gonna be for the Patreon. Oh, because we haven't talked about that, and we're you're gonna make me make an ad for Patreon. Well, I was thinking we could, we could just film an ad, you know, just or something. It it better be funny. I could just film the whole ad. Well, I mean, I can help. I mean, I mean, how about you? How about you? Uh, you film it on the green screen, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll work a little magic on it. Okay, how's that sound? Yeah, sounds teamwork. Uh, without further ado, guys, uh, we're gonna take a little potty break, go cross streams, uh, but please enjoy this week's uh, sponsor. Um, I believe uh, who who are they? The the Funny Brothers. The Funny Brothers. Yeah, the Funny Brothers, ladies and gentlemen, the Funny Brothers. Hey, fellas and women and other stuff, do I have an offer for you? Right now, if you go to our Patreon, we have the full recipe to crystal meth. We're talking the correct glassware to use, where to get the supplies, and most importantly, how to stay off the DEA's radar. Minerals, Marie. <laughs> and here's the interesting thing. The Patreon is $5 a month, and, and you get a bunch of stuff. Not to mention we got new tiers coming soon, um, that are gonna be pretty cool. Like the Sticker Club. You'll be able to soon get your name in every podcast episode if you want. And don't forget that you can't publicly share that uh, recipe to meth. Remember, just go to Patreon. I mean, I, I don't know why it's an issue if it's just on my side of the set. It's, well, it's not just, on yours. I just think it's like cringe. Well, that's like, your opinion. He's, he's cringe. Okay, but... My, he's also just kind of like a... Uh, he's not self-aware. He's just kind of like embarrassing. Okay, well that's your opinion and you're entitled to it, but it's going on my side of the set. And you know that my cousin Forrest painted this before he was shot by the police. And, you know, this is very important to me because it's we were close and it's one of the last things that... I, I, I get it. I just... Um, okay, I mean... I just I don't, don't think it's appropriate for the for the set... Especially on our first episode, he's a, he's a, he's also just somewhat. Regardless of what you think of him, he's a, he's a controversial figure because of how cringe he is. Cousin Forrest isn't controversial. He, no, 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 Elon. Okay, Elon. Uh, okay, well, just uh, just 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 we'll, we'll talk about it. Maybe it can go up in like the bathroom or something. Can we just for the rest of the episode, can you just settle with me? Just please, no. Please, just give this to me. No. Okay. Just go put it up. I don't want a picture of Elon Musk on it. Don't even try to don't try to hide it on the set either. I'm gonna hide it on the set, dude. I'm literally just. I can see you trying to place it within camera. Dude, you can't can see it. I can see the corner definitely. You can't. It's not even like. <sighs> Look, dude. I'm just gonna put it away where you can't even see it. Okay. Yeah. Whoop! Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry. I knocked. I'm clumsy. Uh. Sorry, I'm just fixing. I'm gonna fix the plant. Okay, it's fine. You know, cause uh, you know, we can put you know everything Ryan wants on this set, but it's fine. Do, do, do whatever. Um, welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. Uh, I hope you uh, I hope you were entertained by that ad from the Funny Brothers. <sighs> Yeah, good guys. Uh, I really like those guys. They're they're good at what they do. They're they're a couple funny brothers. Yeah. Anyways, enough about those funny brothers. Let's talk about Super Mega. Right. We recently put out a new music video, which we filmed back in early July. Right. First week of July. Yes. Oh, a while uh, ago. Yeah. Early it, no, or late June. It was right I before th- I went on tour. I, th- I think we were on set. Because we wanted to do it late June, but we had to push it. Oh, that's it. right. And it was like two days before I went on tour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, put out a new music video called I Love Working Out. Um, we finally got to put it out, and it feels good uh, to 
be be back in the creative zone again uh, because that that video we put a lot of effort into it and it also had a pretty uh, the biggest budget we've ever put into a video. I think second place for budget would be the NASCAR video, but this goes at the tippy top. This is at the tippy top for now. For now. For now. Because uh, we you know we had made this song actually we we had made a rough version of the song back in like 2018 or 2019 just. Uh, because we were part of some comedy show at the Roxy in Hollywood, and with we, Ninja Brian, with Ninja Brian, I remember the, that the Ninja Brian, and he asked us to do uh, if we wanted to do like just a couple songs. So uh, I was like, sure. So we did uh, my Nathan character and Nathan's friend. Yep, it was who Nathan was Nathan and friend? Who was pretty? I think that's the only time uh, and friend was a part of any sort of story. So he it's a very him. rare, uh, a, 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 just a rare. Viewing scene, well, I don't know. I'm curious, actually. People in the comments that were there at that show, it was a small show. It was really small. It was probably like. I mean, it was a Ninja Brian show, yeah, so. so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <it> was, <laughs> uh, there were like 30, 40 people there. Uh, but the Roxy's a legendary venue, so we had to, you know, that's why we said yes. We didn't. Wait, we, sorry. It's what? A legend. Wait for it. Wait for it. Dairy. Nice. Venue uh, in Hollywood. And, you know, we didn't really want to do something with Ninja Brian, but it was like, well, it's the Roxy, you know, yeah. it's pretty cool. So we came and we, we wrote two songs for that show. We wrote I Love Working Out and another song called Prom Night. Mm -hmm. uh, we performed both on stage. Uh, and that was the first time the world had heard I Love Working Out. And the only years time. Ago. Years 2018, ago. Years ago. 2018, I yeah. think. Yeah. Uh, and then that song just went poof. We didn't think about it. We didn't touch it. It was just made for a live performance. Until one day we were sitting around the Super Mega Plex, not to be confused with where we're now working out of, the Super Mega Fantasy Factory. That's right. But back at the Super Mega Plex, uh, we were wanting to uh, kind of get more into... Uh, like sketch comedy and music videos because we'd, we'd done that stuff in the past but we had really been mainly focusing and uploading kind of more uh, you, YouTuber centric uh, type stuff uh, Let's Plays uh, Let's Plays uh, the the what are they called? Tier, the lists. tier lists stuff like that Yeah and we at first the idea came as just like a it was going to be similar to Brand New Shirt in the style that it was going to be filmed. It was just going to be Tucker coming with us to Muscle Beach in Santa Monica, and we were just going to kind of film something run really run. quickly in like probably like three, four hours or so. Yeah. And then I had this stroke of genius. Mm. No, but it, we, we were thinking about the idea more and... Over caviar. Oh, <laughs> over two bowls of caviar. And champagne. <laughs> and champagne. Don't we poured the on. champagne in the caviar to ha eat it like a cereal. It was actually really good, yeah. But uh, we wanted... To, so that idea was there, the kind of brand new shirtish, kind of not lower effort, because we're, I still like the simplicity of brand oh. new shirt and stuff like that, but... Brand new shirt was just less planned, because yes. we made that song, and we literally sat down, we're like, let's make a song, we sat down, made the song right then on the spot, and if I'm not mistaken, the very same day... I think we, we filmed it, yeah. We just called Tucker over, and we're like, Tucker, we just made this song, let's go shoot a music video, and... That afternoon, we just went around Burbank, and with Tucker brought his camera, we just like found random alleyways and just filmed. The the the, the, the railroad, mm -hmm. yeah. That the train was on, yeah, which was awesome. That, that's a good shot. That is I the, love the that underpass shot. is probably the best. The like my favorite where we're of dancing. Yeah. Of course, uh, it's beautiful. It's but, such a cute shot. So, uh, we're I love working out started in that kind of realm of idea, but then uh, we were just thinking, you know, we we haven't really put our full pussies into something in that's a while. That's right, that's right. And so, we were just thinking for this simple song, why don't we go all out for the music video? Just re just really put it, put in a good budget for it. Right. Hire people to, you know, so all of the responsibility isn't on us, but other, because there's a good quote where uh, it, it was, I can't remember who it was, I don't remember the quote exactly, but it was just more in the line of, you know, a director doesn't have to do everything. You hire sound people, you you hire a cameraman, you hire people who are very talented in those specific fields to help, like, elevate 
uh, your stuff. And that's exactly what we did with this. We hired a lot of really talented production designers and and um, uh, Tucker, of course, with us with the camera. He's one of the most talented motherfuckers we've ever worked with, if not the most talented. Well, we're 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 forgetting about the most talented person we've ever worked with, Michael Jackson. But I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to get into yeah. that. I don't even know if we're legally allowed to talk about. No, he was on our podcast. That's true. Um, well, he was on the Super Mega Cast. But his lawyers also reached out. True. Um, but anyways, we 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 wanted to really put in a budget and put in an effort and put our pussies into it, like ex- you said. Ex- put our ex- whole fucking fat pussies. P. Exactly. Fat. And the idea kind of stemmed from, what if the final shot and and this is just where it all kind this, of this was your go- your stroke of genius. Ugh. Uh, what if the final shot was on a a beach type set and it panned out and unveiled the other sets in one kind of long stretch of right. sets? Just I don't know. I like just pulling out and seeing all sets were busy and a <laughs> beautiful wide shot presenting everything. And I liked the idea of the style of it being in a community theater type look. I don't like pulling out. Come Sorry, on. I, I love. Pulling out. Ooh, we could make my like a sex ed song. And I love pulling out to promote safe sex. Pulling out has never felt so great. Shooting cum has never, never felt, felt so good. good. Not getting good. pregnant is really good. Yeah, uh-huh. something like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, but but Ryan had this idea where it's like, what if? You know, the music video is split into the three different sets. Oh, voice crack. <laughs> it's embarrassing, but it's probably, it's probably the medicine it. I'm taking. It's the, the first episode of the podcast. Country. People are going to think, you know, it's a little embarrassing. It is. A, it's a very embarrassing. That could have flown in maybe the fourth or fifth episode, but it's fine. Well, you can uh, probably cut around it. Yeah. Uh, but basically, Ryan uh, had the idea for the three sets and then ending with the shot where it reveals that they're all together. Because um, it was going to be shot in, like one set at a time, kind of mm-hmm. telling the story prog- uh, like progressively. And then. Yeah. Or progressively, yeah, it progresses. It's a progressive story, yeah. It's a it's of, it's a progressive <laughs> triumphant story, you yeah. Know? Of boy love, uh, yeah. What? <laughs> of boy love. It's uh, with that music video is a great story of boy love. Uh, but so you they, and the boys working out, yeah, and we love it. We there's love, you know. We had Dax Flame, we had Rocco from X sixty four, Walid. Oh, I thought his name was Wallace. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, but. We had a lot of fun making that video because we, I'm, I'm sure no one was able to notice, but we were a little burnt out creatively uh, last year and more. Like, I don't know, just doing Let's Plays. We, we, got, we got in a very comfortable spot. Yeah, we got very uh, complacent, honestly. It's like we were able to get by uh, with Patreon and with just, just uploading Let's Plays. And it wasn't that we didn't want to make this stuff. We just didn't have a lot of drive. It didn't have and like any creative drive. Th- just it be- just we were burnt out, and we hated that because it's like we have these opportunities. You know, we have all of these wonderful Patreon supporters uh, that are supporting us to make stuff, and we're not making it. And so, it was just a shitty mentality that we had at the time. In yeah, terms of just, it was just kind of it was it was it was lazy. And and life had you know there was a lot going on. We were you know distracted here and there and we just kind of just there was a disconnect between us and the creative process and I feel like we have really reconnected for the honestly like not for the first time but it's like we've we've for the first time in years I feel like reinvigorated that spark yes we have lit you and I have lit that super mega spark well I, I, rem- good. I remember at the end of shooting that music video uh kind of telling you it's like this is why we're out here. Mm-hmm. Like making this stuff is like why we're out. I just every we've done a lot of creatively fulfilling stuff with the channel, and it's sure. not like you know everything before this music video was shit. It was just like we. I had never personally, even for Super Mega, as long as we've been working for it, like worked on a set and like yeah hired a bunch of people to 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 put in impressive stellar work first time we had a crew yeah you know because in the past you know we have tucker and we have friends and just ourselves but this is the first time we had like 20 30 people like it it, and it was honestly really surreal you know having a call sheet and showing up on set and there's you know uh someone doing your makeup and then you look and there's like 
a dozen dudes who you don't know walking around with ladders and scissor lifts and you know setting up lights and it's it was really cool and and that was really the first time ryan and i both realized like, like this fuck, is we, it. we can do this why have we not been doing why, this well, yeah exactly why haven't we been doing this more often because it's it, it's doable and and, and, and the support on Patreon, like, gives us the the funding to do this stuff, yeah. right? So it, it's like, really, there's no excuse for us. We enjoy doing it. People enjoy watching it. And if we have the support behind us to be able to do it, then... Then why not do it? So and we, have fun, because with this... Yeah. I think Matt and I, and I'll speak for you, because I believe this... I, th- I, think, I, I think I know you well enough. Matt and I are at our happiest and more fulfilled with the channel in the process of creating like a sketch or music yeah. video or something like that. And not to say like we I, I still love editing and I you know I still love like releasing stuff, but releasing stuff and getting people's like opinions on it is nice and everything and seeing how people react or whatever, but the real the real meat and potatoes comes with the full creative process yeah. of planning and then the, the sh- shooting is I think definitely are just most favorite yeah I, just the the uh I, I guess the the quote would be uh we enjoy the journey more than the destination exactly it's uh we we really when when we have an idea that we like and we feel passionate about I think that's when we feel the most happy and that's the the last few months of working on all the new super mega stuff whether it be uh, this new, you know, podcast show, whether it be uh, I Love Working Out or some of the new sketches that haven't come out yet. The new or live streams, which the live we, streams. We, we just got done with a live stream earlier today. A couple hours and, like, ago. Um, that was, a, I had a lot of fun. I, I like that format. Very fun. And, and you know, chat was great. You guys were super fun. Uh, we're going to do those weekly. Um, try to try do them to. Weekly. Uh, but basically, working the last few months uh, in the Super Mega Fantasy Factory, working on, you know, me uh, working on like the graphic design for this podcast, working on Sticker Club, working on just the ideas for more yeah. sketches and stuff that we want to so do. It's so fun. And speaking of, it's like that. I it's like okay, they shot that a while ago. What else do they have? We we I don't want to give away anything about it, but we do have another sketch. Not saying it's going to be released like tomorrow or anything, but it's going to be released soon. soon. And it's, good. it's it's pretty much almost done. And I we had a lot of fun making it. It's one of my favorite things we've ever made because you and I are are very uh we're fans of of this type of content yeah it it basically this next sketch coming out is uh it's a bit it's a bit of a long one and and it's a it's a parody of a specific style of video that we're both fans of and that's all that's all we're gonna say say. about it but we've been putting a lot of work into it uh it's got a it's got cameos it's uh it's it's good it's it's I'm excited for that one I'm very I I am we, I, you know, we've been so busy, honestly, like trying to just relaunch Patreon and streaming and working on the podcast that we've kind of put uh, pumped the brakes on that sketch. So I'm excited next week we get to really pick it back up. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, it's it's been really, really, really fun working with you the last few months. And it's like I feel for the first time just reinvigorated. And it's like I know like I feel like we like I know what we want Super Mega to be now and and I am really really excited for like what's what's going to come and and we hope that y'all can sense that and see that especially with the amount of effort and stuff that uh I I've seen you put in like I I'll sometimes as we've said earlier in the podcast like I I will leave the office at like 2 a.m. and Matt will just still be here and I'll get a text from him still at like Four in the morning, five in the morning, just like giving me updates on things. And uh, I'm sorry, that's annoying. No, I mean, thank God for Adderall. Yeah, that one hundred percent. I mean, that's the only reason I'm able to record this podcast at uh, one seventeen a.m. I'm I'm unfortunately not. On, I, I I just well, downed like two crack. monsters and and the crack. The crack but, will help, but but I don't want to. Uh, Chicken Celsius too. So. I don't want to get our audience into it because that'll be just less crack for me. Exactly, and you know, there's a limited supply of that stuff on the I don't streets want of Los Angeles. The new thing, you know. Yeah. Oh, uh, Ryan McGee from from Super Mega does crack. I want to do crack too. Then lo and behold, I have to go weeks without a source. It's just not fun. Everyone, you know, and their mother is smoking crack mm-hmm. uh, because Ryan from Super, the funny Let's Play man, is smoking crack. So. Exactly. Uh, Ryan doesn't smoke crack. I don't. So don't try to pick it up. Don't go out and try to purchase crack on the streets because because 
you think that Ryan does crack. Ryan doesn't do crack. Crack is whack. Okay. I like that. You Did like you just that? come up with that? Yeah, I just came up with that. Shit. Crack is whack. Crack is whack. Uh, That's not bad. Uh, That's pretty good. What about, what about that tobacco's wacky? That's Ooh. some wacky tobacco. Wacky tobacco. Right? Like, uh, like a term for marijuana? Yeah, it's like whack, but not like cool. Bad whack. I guess, has whack ever meant cool? That's whack. No, no, that's always meant just, that's not cool. That's, whack is. That's cringe. That's whack. Yeah. Whack is a cool word. That, yeah. We should, that, that's, you know how like language evolves over time and slang comes and goes. I, I, want, I want whack to come back. Well, sometimes like language and stuff is weird where like you'll have a nickname for something just be a longer form of it like monkey suit for suit. Like monkey suit just means a suit. Monkey suit. I've never in my life heard monkey suit mean suit. Yeah, well, like like a, like a tuxedo. Yeah, it's like a it's it's kind of like oh I have to go put on my monkey suit. I don't think anyone says that. <laughs> yes, they monkey do. Suit? Yes. Yeah, just wear your monkey suit to the wedding. <laughs> like a, like a gorilla. No, I get, no. I Who swear says to monkey God. suit. Who says that? <laughs> You're making me think that that's not actually. Uh... Well, look it up. I <laughs> okay. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna prove it. <sighs> I I, I, think I don't so. think anyone calls it monkey suit. Dude. No. Well, now you're making me think because like it's it's like. Did you like maybe dream why, this? <laughs> why would they get that? Why, Ma- get that McAfee antivirus bullshit okay, out of okay. here. Okay. Rest in peace, John McAfee. Monkey suit. <laughs> now, okay. Honestly, that monkey. now that I think about it, monkey suit. Just, why just why for, would it be short for, why would monkey suit It's longer than suit. It's like an extra word. It has to be. Monkey. You see, it's a, a man's thing. evening dress or formal suit. Yep. What? I'm guessing it's kind of like, you know, it's like, "Oh, you're going to work, you got to put on your monkey suit." It's I feel like it's a it's a negative. Like you you dress up a monkey. Yeah, you dress up a monkey and the monkey dances for the for the approval of the audience. <laughs> You know, you're 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 putting on your monkey suit for the, for the approval of your peers and boss and stuff like that. We've got a lot of monkeys on this set, <laughs> besides me and Ryan, of course. Odds are you have to in episode two wear this monkey suit. <laughs> this exact monkey suit. <laughs> well, it's expensive, first of all. <laughs> With inflatable banana. Ooh. Uh. Three, because I kind of want to. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Okay, this this could be you in the next podcast. That could episode. be me in episode two. <laughs> okay, okay. You want to count us down, or you want me to count us down? You can count us down. Okay. Three, two, one, two. one. Fuck. Damn it! I wanted to wear the monkey suit, and I'm not talking about a tuxedo here. Could, well, well, you could. I mean, just, what if, I could. I mean, we could just buy the monkeys. I'm 28 suit. years old. I, I, you know, I'm a free man. It's a free country. If I, I could just buy the monkeys. <laughs> I just keep looking at the pose he's doing. He's having fun. He also <laughs> has like. It looks like he's kind of got a, a boner. Ooh, that's the inflatable. That's the inflatable banana. banana. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's just turned around. Why do they do this? I guess ah. you want to see what the back of the costume looks like, and it's cool that, that it has tail a tail. Looks stiff. How about this pose? Ooh, <laughs> what them, dude? that could be you, but you playing, man? Now fuck it, just get it, dude. <laughs> okay. Get me the fucking. Okay. Get, get me the the. Should I order it on my phone? Because we're a small. Bundle? We're not signed in. Oh, okay, so. yeah, you should probably order it after the pod, so you're not taking up time just kind of scrolling through Amazon. Hey, huh? well, well, now the viewers next episode are really gonna have to tune in for the for the monkey business. <laughs> <laughs> I love how I'm just gonna be dressed normally. Okay. Also, recently. On, on, it's in the intro of this podcast, but uh, we made a gif where it's Ryan as a cowboy on a horse, and uh, you know I ordered him this uh, cowboy outfit off of Amazon, and the you looked great first of all. <laughs> you look you. really good in it. Here's uh, for the visual for the visual learners. Here's what it looks like. Here's here's Ryan in his so little it's, cowboy it's a suit good on gift. a horse. There he is. Look at me gallop. He's Look who's fun. chasing me. Yeah, no, oh, there's uh, Officer Watson. <laughs> Uh-oh. She's popping off rounds at him. <laughs> I looked up cowboy outfit, and uh, I chose the one I chose. There were better ones, mm-hmm. like more realistic, but... It's I, a, is it not titled like Woody from Toy it's Story not Woody costume? Woody from Toy Story. I but mean, it's based on it. <laughs> I mean, it's more than based on it. It's, really, it's literally just the Woody I, costume. I need to show you uh, the... Uh, the model in the photo. I thought you sent me a picture of it, maybe. 
I texted you that I couldn't wait to see your cute little ass in it. I remember that. Let me see if I still have that picture. Yeah, I can't really a, remember it. It was a cute little ass in that, in that fucking... God, it was a cute little ass. I don't see a monkey suit picture. I No, I remember texting you that, though. Did you do it in, like, a group Maybe chat, a or group was chat it me with, personally? Uh, with Luke? Let me... The super mega group chat? Okay, so I'm really not finding it in our personal... Ma- okay, I'm gonna go it's check. It's gotta be in the group chat, dude. Yeah. Hold, hold, let, let, me, me, let me just pull it up on Amazon. Mm, I'm st- find it? still not finding anything. <laughs> it's just a guy. Eat- you sent a lot of pictures of some guys eating cheese. <laughs> I did? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's just some stock photos of some, <laughs> some dudes eating cheese. Oh, Ryan McGee be like... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, bro, we were on real stream talk, earlier though. tonight, and you just reached in your pocket and pulled out cheese and started eating cheese. <laughs> I, I like cheese, dude. It's a good cheese. Yeah, it's but a- why? You just had it in your pocket, dude. Because I knew I would want a snack on it. Okay, where it, dude? I don't know why I can't find this costume I ordered you. I'm still not. It's not. I'm not finding it, in dude. The it was group. like the first thing that came up. That's why I bought it. Well, the reason I bought it was because the model in the picture was so damn. Maybe sexy. it was in like another group chat potentially. Dude, am I Nelson Mandela in myself right now? Like, I thought you did send it to me over chat. I I remember sending it to you. You remember it, and I can't. But now now I can't even find it on Amazon, and you can't find it on your phone. Hold on. Can you go to your past orders since you ordered it? It's like this costume, but it was but it was a big it was a big man. Not not a not a small. I, I wouldn't be able to fit in that. No, costume. dude. He, he the guy looked like a Sopranos, like a, a character from the Sopranos, just dressed up as like like Woody. Fuck. Found him. I found him. Okay, Wait, really? here he is. Here he is. Okay, <laughs> there he is. That's my boy. The thing is, do you remember the day and age where they used to get like attractive, like very well built, muscular men, like. What are, you, what are you saying about this? <laughs> not attractive and well-built and muscular? Look at that smile, dude. I, I'm not saying anything negative about him. It I would never like fucking negative. You said, remember when they used to get attractive, well-built, muscular guys? I love the way he's tipping his hat. He's so proud of himself, He dude. is, dude. He's like, I landed the big role. Wait, I, booked, did, I booked the gig. Just like that monkey costume, do they have a back shot? Yeah, let's see uh, some back shots. <laughs> oh my God, yes, dude. We got back shots. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this dude. He's so dude. You know how he's so proud of himself for booking this modeling job. <laughs> I just, I just picture smile like he does this. He's like, like he, that mm-hmm. that smile probably only lasted three. No, honestly, he does look like a cheerful lad. Doesn't he kind of look? Look like, at those beautiful eyes he, he has. He looks like a, a character from The Sopranos. I think. <laughs> Doesn't he? Do you think in this co- <laughs> do, it's with like, the costume? Uh, it, well, this is a very Sopranos esque costume. <laughs> uh, Imagine, like in the third season of Sopranos, they like introduce what? a character <laughs> that just dresses like this, and they time. never address it though. They never like, uh, like Tony never, never brings it up. It's just I've never seen the Sopranos. Oh, I, I've wonderful. seen the ending on YouTube. I saw the but. ending before I ever saw the show. It's a it's a wonderful show, and I think you at some point need to watch it. I mean, it's it's. It's, it's it's like some of the most famous television ever. Uh, it's one of my favorite shows. I need the piss out of my penis. You need a piss out of your penis? Yeah, really bad. Uh, so no. could we take a? Could I just like go? Could you entertain them at least just for yeah, a little I can, bit? I can entertain them. Okay, just I'll be right back. Sure. You know what? I'll give you a little buddy while I'm gone. A little buddy. Hey, more monkey business. I am very... Guys, you you better get excited for episode two of Super Mega Show because uh, there's going to be a little monkey in a round. Just talk to him like like I'm there, you know? Uh, I don't even notice a difference. Ah, come on, man. It was just a joke. Just, hey, don't put the middle finger up. Put it down, all right? Anyway, guys, it's good to be back. Uh, If I can... Can I keep it 100 with you? Uh, It's good to be back. Um, You know... While we were on our mission trip in El Salvador, uh, we, albeit we had a great time spreading the the gospel, uh, we did miss creating. We missed uh, Super Mega quite a bit. Uh, we really realized uh, how much we love having this opportunity to create stuff, uh, uh, you know, and actually have people watch it and enjoy it. It's it's such a it's what we've wanted since we were kids. I mean, I've made. You can go back and watch YouTube videos uh, that me and Ryan both made, you know, back from 2008. Like we we have always loved doing this, and the fact that uh, we are able to do it for a living and and people actually watch it is 
insane. So uh, I, I think one of the things we realized was just uh, how fortunate we are, and, and we're very excited to be making stuff uh, again. That was a fast piss. Well, I, I, there's a podcast to record, or at least finish recording. But how did you get the piss out that fast? I just pushed it out. Really? Well, you know, actually, Ryan, I have to piss as well. So I, I think maybe it's getting about to be that time we, uh, what do you say, we kind of start wrapping this thing up. And when I say wrapping, I mean like, yo, yo, yo. Not not ending it. Not ending the podcast and then doing the... The double entendre. A double Andre. Double. Well, okay. It's a guy named Andre, and uh, he has a twin who's also named Andre, and they go, they rap, and they go by Double Andre. <laughs> Double Andre. That's good. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, I mean, we, we, it's why we make the big bucks. You don't miss, son, Matt. You can call me son. Okay. I like it when you call me son. My dad doesn't call me that. He doesn't want to even refer to me as his son. He's he's disappointed that his son is a Let's player. Boy. But now now his son is is not really a Let's player anymore. He's more of a podcaster. He's an entertainer. He's an entertainer. We're not YouTubers anymore, guys. All right. We we're 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 different men. Well, I mean, we're, most of our stuff's on YouTube, and all of the content that we create is good. We're still you know on the platform. So. Um. Okay. Yeah. Uh. But I mean, this is on Spotify, so maybe some people don't even interact with YouTube and don't even care for our YouTube content. We're so we Spotifyers. Could, we're podcasters. Is that in? Is that much better than YouTube entertainers, actors, men, male actor? We're both male actor, male entertaining male actors. We're adult entertainers. Okay, we're how male about adult entertainers, entertaining savants, entertainment savants. How about that? Ooh. Adult entertainment savants. How about that? I like that. I like title. that. That's that's it's pretty good, prestigious. I like it. Uh, you know, Ryan McGee and Matt Watson, male adult entertainment savants. Ooh. You know, throw the male in there just so people really know that you know, or yeah, you know, <laughs> nowadays in California, you don't Oof. ever know. Anyway. But uh, if uh, you know, we we were talking about our Patreon earlier, and you're you're gonna find out <sighs> why I'm segueing. I know, I know, I know. But the reason I'm bringing this up is because soon. The super mega show will come to an end, but then you can. What keep... we're in, we're in, like it, it's done. After no, one no. Episode? The, the, sorry, let me rephrase. Soon, the first episode of the super mega show will come to an end. <sighs> you scared me. But if you support on Patreon, you get a little Patreon subscription. What? You'll be able to watch an extra segment of this podcast on the Patreon that only patrons can view. Holy fuck! I know. Wait, so so you're telling me that. If you, if you, even at the most basic tier of our Patreon, every single week, you not only get this podcast early and ad free, but you also get an additional chunk of podcast episode. You're fucking damn straight, Matthew. I know I'm straight. No, well, I, you're, I mean straight as in right. You're right, but not like saying straight, saying is, straight is the right is way. Right no, always? no, I'm just saying like mean? I'm using uh, like the terminology that I'm using. I'm I'm using like. Uh, the, the, the straight and narrow, you, you know? Should, you should rethink it, maybe, because, it, you know, it's 2024. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, you can get extra podcast every single week. Every episode is going to have a little additional, uh, little a little extra scoop. And, uh, I you know, Super Mega Cast at Super Mega Cast After Hours. Uh, not sure yet what we're calling. Uh, but you can go watch the additional one on Patreon right now. Without y'all, none of this would be possible. And also without our without our very intelligent, entertaining brains. That's well. See, that's the main thing. Without our without our genius. Yes. You know, without our entertainment savantness. Matthew, your genius is showing. <laughs> the SpongeBob reference. It is. I, yep. It's a good show. It's a great show. I mean, holds up to this day. SpongeBob is fantastic, man. But but we're not going to get on a whole tangent about SpongeBob. We could. Maybe in the next episode. Maybe in the next one. Uh, in the next episode, we'll be back, and I'll have a monkey suit, not a tuxedo. Maybe. Uh, Maybe you can wear a monkey suit and I can, can wear, wear a monkey, monkey suit. suit. I think that's a pretty good idea. That's not a bad idea. We'll both be in monkey suits. We'll both be in monkey suits. And then maybe in the uh, the after show segment, we can be in our birthday suits. You know what I'm saying? I mean... And actually, if you're watching this on Patreon, here's a penis. I, and I'm going to speak for Matt again, I as well as Matt can't wait to see you in the next episode of the Super Mega Show. Thank you everyone who has been supporting us for all these years. Um, it really means a lot. I know that, you know, this channel has gone through different bouts of different types of content and different vibes and stuff. And and this really does feel like uh, to not to, to not be a... 
too much of a meme, but this feels like a, a new golden age. Like I, our, our creative spark is is very high right now. It is. Like I feel like it's the most it's ever been, and I feel like for the first time since maybe early on in Super Mega, we know what we want, and we actually have like we don't we're not just you know stumbling around like oh we'll make this video uh what, what should be? it's like we know what we want and we have like full control and in the reins are in our hands and it's back to just us just editing the videos and just fucking making stuff and we're really excited so uh, thank you all again thank you and thank as you. A, and as we said we'll see Put we'll see you that in one. the in the in the next uh, podcast episode yes we will and i'll be in my monkey suit and i'll be in my monkey suit uh, and I guess we'll just monkey around a little bit. All right. You know what I'm saying? The Worm Brothers. The Worm Brothers. The guy. Funny Brothers. The Worm Brothers. You guys, got a brand new episode of The Worm Brothers <laughs> dropping this Thursday. And it would just be like, what, two and a half hours of us just playing, playing with earthworms. earthworms. Yeah. Not like, do we even speak? Or are we just kind of holding I mean, them? We can make comments on what we're enjoying out of the process of playing with the earthworms, but there's a lot to enjoy. <laughs>